Chapter 16, Love and a Dead Rat. Damien was in love with one of the girls in his class. Can you guess which one? He thought about her all the time. Myron threw a red ball to Damien. It bounced off his face. Huh? said Damien. Why didn't you catch the ball? asked Myron. What ball? asked Damien. The one that hit you in the face, said Myron. Did a ball hit me in the face? asked Damien. Yes, said Myron. Oh, good, said Damien. I was wondering why my nose hurt. He had been thinking about the girl he loved. He was in love with Mrs. Jules. That was why he was always doing things for her, like passing out papers. He thought she was very pretty and nice. He thought she was smart, too. In fact, he thought she was one of the smartest people in the class. After recess, he hurried back up the stairs. Hello, Damien, said Mrs. Jules. Hello, Mrs. Jules, he said. You're always the first one here, aren't you? asked Mrs. Jules. Damien blushed and shrugged his shoulders. Do you need any papers passed out or anything? he asked. It's so nice of you to ask, said Mrs. Jules. I think you're nice too, said Damien. Mrs. Jules gave him a stack of workbooks to hand out. Then she gave him a Tootsie Roll Pop from the coffee can on her desk for being so helpful. But don't eat it until after lunch, she said. I won't, he assured her. He ate lunch with Myron and DJ. He saved his Tootsie Roll Pop for last. Joy and Mauricia came up behind him. Hi, Damien, said Joy. How's your girlfriend? What? asked Damien. He turned red. Who are you talking about? I don't have a girlfriend. You're in love with Mrs. Jules, accused Mauricia. You'd better watch out, said Joy. Mr. Jules might come after you. The two girls laughed. I don't know what you're talking about, said Damien. I'm not in love with Mrs. Jules. He looked to his friends for support. Myron shrugged. DJ smiled. Prove it, said Joy. Prove you're not in love with her. That's ridiculous, said Damien. How can I prove I'm not in love with Mrs. Jules? Give her this, said Joy. She handed Damien a paper bag. Your lunch, asked Damien. Look inside, said Mauricia. Inside the paper bag was a dead rat. Damien knew Mrs. Jules hated dead rats more than anything in the world. Put it in her desk said Joy. If you don't, it means you love her, said Mauricia. I'm not in love with her, said Damien. Prove it, said Joy. Okay, I will, said Damien. The girls left. You don't have to put the dead rat in her desk, said DJ. We don't care, said Myron. You think I'm in love with her too, don't you? asked Damien. Myron shrugged. DJ smiled. Some friends you are, said Damien. I'll show you. After lunch, he was the first one back in class. He carried Joy's paper bag. Hello, Damien, said Mrs. Jules. Did you have a nice lunch? Oh, it was all right, he muttered. Oh, would you mind getting the construction paper from the closet and putting it on my desk? Asked Mrs. Jules. Thank you. Damien went to the closet and got the construction paper. He put it on her desk. Then, when she wasn't looking, he opened her desk drawer and dumped the dead rat into it. He shut the drawer. Thank you, Damien, said Mrs. Jules. You are always so helpful. It's such a pleasure to have you in my class. Damien felt awful. Mrs. Jules read a story to the class. Damien couldn't pay attention. He kept wondering when she'd open her drawer. After the story, they had art. Everyone was supposed to make snowflakes. Damien folded his piece of construction paper in half. Mrs. Jules screamed. What's wrong, Mrs. Jules? asked Joy. Somebody put a dead rat in my desk, said Mrs. Jules. I did, declared Damien. Damien? Mrs. Jules said with great surprise. Why? Because I don't like you, said Damien. You're always making me do things for you. Oh, I see said Mrs. Jules. Should I write my name on the board under discipline? He asked. No, that won't
won't be necessary, said Mrs. Jules. That made him feel even worse. Why did I have to prove myself to Joy? He wondered. I don't like Joy. I like Mrs. Jules. He felt rotten. When the bell rang, Damien waited for all the other kids to leave. Then he walked to Mrs. Jules' desk. She was marking papers. Yes, Damien? Do you want me to erase the board for you? He asked. That's all right, said Mrs. Jules. I'll do it myself. Damien sadly walked out of the room and down the stairs. When he reached the bottom, he turned and ran all the way back up to Mrs. Jules' room. She was just putting on her coat. I love you, Mrs. Jules, Damien declared. I'm sorry I put the dead rat in your desk. I did it because I didn't want everyone to know I loved you. I'm sorry. I love you too, Damien, said Mrs. Jules. You do, but what about Mr. Jules? Just because I love Mr. Jules, it doesn't mean I can't also love you. Love is different from most things. She picked up a piece of chalk. If I gave my piece of chalk to someone, then I wouldn't have it anymore. But when I give my love to someone, I end up with more love than I started with. The more love you give away, the more you have left. Damien smiled. I love you, Mrs. Jules, he said. He felt his heart fill up with more love. I love you, Damien, said Mrs. Jules. This is getting disgusting, said the dead rat. It climbed out of Mrs. Jules' desk and walked out of the room.